Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of Larry Marvin Morris. And we will look at some John Does, but you will find when you look for John Does in Wyoming that there are few and far between skeletal remains that have actually been found in Wyoming. I don't know why. So he went missing April 27th in 1974 from Riverton, Wyoming. He was only 24 years old. 5 foot 11 to 6 foot tall. It says he was last seen in Riverton, Wyoming, April 27th, 1974. Foul play is suspected in this case. He was employed in the Riverton, Wyoming area as a seismograph worker. He had brown hair and brown eyes. He had a green pickup. Uh, 1966 Ford pickup with Oklahoma license plates. It was later recovered in California. And here are some pictures. There's two pictures of him. And I think this might be whoever took his truck or killed him. Um, so this says... This is the Charlie Project. And it also says... It has his date of birth, which was August 18th, 1949, which wasn't on the Namus Project. 5 foot 11 to 6 foot 10. I think that's a typo because it's 5 foot 11 to 6 foot tall. And then it says it's got the license plate number on the Ford LTD pickup. RO-94 accounted for. It says he's from Tulsa, Oklahoma, but was employed in Riverton at the time of his disappearance as a seismograph worker. He planned to go to Yellowstone Park before returning to Oklahoma, but apparently he never arrived in either place. His pickup truck disappeared with him. It was later found abandoned in California. James Franklin Jaggers and Jack Lincoln were arrested with his credit cards and other personal items belonging to him. Jaggers was released from prison in Colorado in March 1974. Lincoln was his former cellmate and escaped from jail in April of that year, two days before Morris disappeared. Morris' credit card was used by someone other than him on multiple occasions in, Wy in Idaho, in Wyoming, in Nevada, and in California, Starting April 27, witnesses stated two men were using the card and signed the receipts with Morris's name. Jaggers and Lincoln left Morris's pickup truck in a repair shop on April 30th and rented another vehicle. They were arrested in Idaho on May 8th and were found carrying Morris's credit cards and driving the car they'd rented in his name. Authorities found Lincoln's fingerprints on the credit card and receipts and inside Morris's truck. A photo of Jaggers is posted with a case summary. In 1983, while incarcerated, he offered information about Morris's case in exchange for a transfer to a different facility. He stated Morris was dead and he knew where the body was buried. The possible deal went nowhere, however. In April 2013, authorities charged Jaggers with auto theft and grand larceny in connection with the theft of Morris's car. The charges were reduced to petty larceny in August, however, and Jaggers was released immediately with credit for time served. He died in 2014 without having ever been charged in connection with Morris's disappearance. Morris has never been found. There were no signs of foul play at his home in Riverton. His case remains unsolved and is being treated as a homicide. So they haven't found his remains. We're going to look at some John Doe's because they went to different states. We'll look at some in different states that popped up when I did a search for about his age and height and what I would consider his time of death. So we have one in found October 15th, 1974 in Blue Diamond, Nevada, which is Clark County. Age 22 to 28 years old, 5 foot 11 Estimated year of death says 0 to 1974. A motorcyclist discovered these skeletal remains in a gypsum cave near Blue Diamond Road. The skull and mandible were recovered intact. 
not recognizable, near complete or complete skeleton. They don't know the hair color or anything like that. Wearing a leather light brown shirt, grayish pants, white underwear, or near the body was found or on the body. I don't know. White socks. I guess it's near the body. White socks and brown slip-on boots. Silver colored Timex self-wind watch. Okay, and then we have a John Doe found in the Angeles National Forest, California. Estimated age range 20 to 60 years old. September 17th, 1988. 5 foot 10 estimated, and I believe he was 5 foot 11, so but I figured that's close enough. Estimated year of death could have been anywhere from 1968 to 1988. Estimated age range is 20 to 60, so it could be almost anybody, but I'm leaving it in there because they found skeletal remains, and it came up in my search. Unknown hair color, unknown eye color, unknown eye description. Okay, then we have this one found December 29th, 1974 in Vidal, California. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Forgive me if I'm not. Age 25 to 40. Estimated year of death, 1973 to 1974. Age 25 to 40. 6 foot tall. 205 pounds estimated. Estimated 6 foot tall. San Bernardino County. Remains recovered from a shallow grave. Designated John Doe number 13-74. Identity may only be established with dental x-rays on file. It talks about DNA, possible comparison with smiling photographs or talking video. Not recognizable, near complete or complete skeleton, unknown hair color, light color, long sleeve dress shirt with French style cuffs on the body. And then we have this one, John Doe found Sun Valley, California, November 5th, 2017, age 23 to 45. Estimated year of death anywhere from 1958 to 2008, so that's a long time. Uh, 5 foot 10 estimated. The transient was walking along a hillside when he found a barrel. The barrel appeared to have been burned as it was a massive fire that engulfed the immediate area. September 1st, 2017, the transient opened the lid to the barrel and saw what appeared to be bones and called 911. The police department responded to the scene. The barrel was Recovered from the hillside and transported to the coroner. One or more limbs not recovered near complete skeleton. Pretty robust muscles. So, and there might be more John Doe's that fit his description. But those are the ones that I included. And if you have any information about what might have happened to Larry Marvin Morris, Please contact authorities and let them know. Maybe you know where his remains are. Maybe you were jail cells with one of them. Maybe they were drinking and talking to you over the years. Um, maybe you heard heard it information through family members. Maybe you feel like it's hearsay. You're not sure if it's accurate. You're not sure if it's important. Let them know. Let them decide what's important, what's relevant. Same with any of these John Doe's. These are people that have loved ones that have never... They, they don't know what happened to their loved ones, and so please give the authorities any information you may have. Don't forget to pray for their family, their loved ones. Feel free to leave comments, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.